the human power, I think, is still incredible. What we have done and yeah. what we have seen in, in, in the past that if you start understanding which customers you should route towards the human channels instead of trying to, to do the up or the cross sell uh, online, mm. uh, there's a huge difference in terms of uh, conversion. It's, it's, it's astonishing. Welcome to Conversations That Matter, a podcast from Unifor. Here, we explore the latest customer experience trends, sales insights, innovations in AI and automation, and more with well-known thought leaders and industry experts. Tune in and join the conversation. Welcome everyone to an awesome podcast. I'm your host, Randy Kassar. This is Conversations That Matter, and we are always talking about the latest and greatest innovations in conversational AI, in customer experience, and also employee experience. Today, we have a great guest with us who's all the way from Netherlands, and he's a sought after speaker and digital innovator. And it is uh, a great uh, honor to talk to him. Uh, he is a person that's uh, really a focus leader. He works hand in hand with internal stakeholders developing the strong employee experience. And also he's done a lot on the customer experience side too. So let's welcome Martin uh, Franson. Thank you, Randy. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, I'm so excited that you're here. Uh, I'm glad that we got connected. I'm glad we could uh, find the time together uh, across the pond, as they say. And uh, we wanted to uh, talk to you about your role at KPN. Uh, but of course, with anything that we do on the podcast, we want to start by debunking a myth. So from your perspective, uh, what is one myth about digital transformation and customer experience that you would like to debunk? Well, I think uh, a myth is that probably that CX or the improvement in CX is, is constantly depending on, 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 on innovation, technical information. And sure, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a driver uh, these days, but there's still a lot of which can be used uh, to improve uh, customer experience. And I often see a huge amount on product backlogs uh, to lift the, the CX to the next level. We also, I think also good strategic positioning of the channels uh, within a customer context strategy or consistent customer communication and sufficient time uh, to support employees and the customer uh, will for sure help you to accelerate your transformation. So it's not only about technical innovation. I think that's yeah. the myth. There's far more buttons you can press on. You're, you're right. I mean, it's not always about technology. Uh, and, you know, I think people sometimes are, are very focused on that and that that's the holy grail. But before you do any technology, any digital transformation, you have to really understand the, the ch internal challenges, the processes, the, the people involved before anything happens, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, how long have you been in the industry for? Well, within the, the Dutch Telco KPN, I'm, um, I'm doing my second round. So I started there uh, in, in, two, in 2000, uh, left the company, came back in 2000, and oh, let me calculate, uh, 10 years ago. And there <laughs> uh, I got uh, the assignment uh, or I, pro I proposed, uh, let's say, the, the, the plan to really to start yeah. transforming the, the customer context. So it's uh, 10 years in, uh, in, in the, the telco industry. And before I was in the online insurance uh, industry, and before that I had some uh, platforms myself to uh, to support charities uh, with uh, uh, collecting donations to do good. Awesome, awesome. That's always good uh, to have that. Uh, so great experience. Um, so uh, let's talk about uh, KPN uh, and, and in terms of the real business value. I, you know, I think that's what we talked about in our prep call. Is we want to focus on, you know, you're not the the the, you know, the, the technical data scientist or the the actual implementer per se, but you, you really focus on the business value and talking to executives. So one of the things that we wanted to ask was, what is the real business value to leveraging conversational AI and automation at, at KPN? Uh, you know, how do you determine the ROI of something like that? Well, I think it's it's uh, it's a, a, a complex uh, uh, process uh, to to determine that it's uh well let me let me uh, first say it we focus on on bringing customer ease uh, because we we believe yeah. when we provide really superb digital customer journeys that we will help our customer in achieving their goals and 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 if we do so it's far more easier to to uh, collect extra revenues but also to uh, to become leaner and meaner so number one is is providing customer ease uh second is uh, well, boosting our revenues and 
and lowering our operating cost. But in the end, and, and this is why it's so complex, uh, the question is, when can you determine that you have done the good thing? And there yeah. you have to, to, to oversee the whole end-to-end uh, uh, -end process, but also in time, uh, if you do something good today, uh, the customer might have a, a different opinion within a week or within a month. So what is happening yeah, right. in terms of churn or upsell or cross-sell? And I think that's the biggest challenge that we see uh, within our company, but it's, it's far more uh, uh, beyond uh, throughout the, uh, the industry is how can you determine that? And, and, and for that, you need to make sure that all the enablers need to be in place. Yeah? So all the data needs yeah. to be in place to um, finally uh, determine that. And we're not there yet. Okay. Uh, so uh, when it comes to uh, the telco experience, customers are, are wanting to, you know, they, they call in for, for what reasons? They're going to call in to maybe upgrade. Maybe they have, a, a, unfortunately, a problem with their service. So you, you have a lot of different ways of, of either cross-selling or upselling, right? I mean, that's yeah. definitely, the, the contact center is not just a, a, a cost, uh, um, a huge cost, right? It's also a revenue generating. Wouldn't you agree? It, well, uh, for sure it is, for sure it is. Uh, even though there are a lot of costs involved, of course, eh? so it's always yeah. balancing, uh, uh, but no, for sure it is. Uh, and and I, I think the power of uh, the people that we have is that they, on the basis of a good conversation, are, are really capable of, of doing that, uh, making that upsell or that, that cross-sell. Uh, uh, the human power, I think, is still incredible. What we have done and yeah. what we have seen in, in, in the past that if you start understanding which customers you should route towards the human channels instead of trying to, to do the up or the cross sell uh, online, mm -hmm. uh, there's a huge difference in terms of uh, conversion. It's, it's, it's astonishing. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Being able to, to know when the right prompt is to send them over uh, yeah. is definitely key. Um, I, 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 I'm with you on that one. Um, so you, you being a leader, um, you know, what, what do you think, uh, for those that are listening in, they, they're either contact center leaders or CXOs, um, maybe they're also in the trenches too, but what, what do you think makes a good leader when it comes to a digital transformation project? Well, what I've seen over the, the last couple of years is that it's, 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 you're doing the transformation uh, altogether. So it, it should be clear for everyone to, to, to know exactly where, what we're heading for. So what is yeah. the, what is the, the the point in time? What is where we want to go? Where we want to grow to, as a, yeah. as a company? So a, a good storyteller, with a strategic mindset, which which knows exactly um, um, how to explain why we need to change and in which direction. That that's I think really an important uh, uh, aspect of being a, a leader within the digital transformation. I think the technological awareness is absolutely help helpful but uh, the, the communication and, and 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 for sure also when when you start delivering the the, the products which you need to uh, to transform but also to monetize the communication is 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 uh, quite important as it yeah. helps your customers and your employees to to become aware what's what's in it for them and how they can use it and how as a company, you can uh, retrieve all the the, yeah, the the value out of it. Um, so storytelling, communication, uh, uh, the inspiration, I think, and the motivation of of the teams, because that is what binding uh, the whole company to to go into right. the the same direction. Um, and which is is then again necessary because uh, regardless the job that you have, there's so much that you can contribute to to really accelerate. For instance, when you take a look at the the, the agents within uh, within customer service, they have so many chances a day to 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 make the the data quality uh, better, or to yeah. to pinpoint the self service tooling that we have, or to to show where there's digital ease to be found for the customer, but also uh, the, the the feedback loop uh, where we depend on to make sure that we can uh, continuously improve the journeys the digital journeys that, that that we offer so that's only the the, the customer service and um, but that's that that's throughout the whole company so um, the direction the storyline the, the communication 
and make sure that people understand why we're doing things. I think that that yeah. that's quite important for a good leader in this. Uh, these days. No, that's good advice. No, that's good advice. Um, for those of you that are listening in, uh, you're listening to the Conversations That Matter podcast uh, from Unifor, and we are talking to Martin uh, Fransen from Netherlands, uh, and this is a really uh, interesting first few questions, so I appreciate you taking the time today. This is great. Um, tell us, uh, um, you know, when digital transformation needs to happen and say say it's conversational AI or, or, or some type of kind of new technology, what are some of the key team members that you think uh, are needed uh, to make this to make a project like that successful? So, um, uh, on on so for me the number one is 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 uh, a person a representative of the customer service. Uh, also because it's a bit probably my my background, but but he or she is is feeling the day to day pain. And here you yeah. see uh, on the base all the conversations that we have in the in the contact centers. They know the need, need, need for the change that we make, that we need yeah. to make as a, as a company. So the customer service representative for me is on 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 one, uh, and he or she is always supported by the one being uh, absolutely uh, good in in how the process, the change within the company are are functioning, how we can mm -hmm. optimize them, how they can start uh, using all the signals uh, in order to make that better. Uh, and the UX expert because it, it's it's need to be it's it's all about the customer, right? Yeah. yeah so oh. those three are quite uh, essential. But uh, and as we want to change, if we want to deliver new features to the customer, yeah, the team can't do without a product manager, uh, a data engineer, and, and maybe. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm probably I'm building a, a team up right now. But maybe the last one, uh, last person I would like to add then is is a really good digital marketeer. Who is able to to um, show customers and employees what we have, how they can find it, how they can use it, in order that that we at the end also have the volume and the the opportunity to uh, to really provide the ease and and by providing yeah. the ease, making sure that that the value is being unlocked. So for me, that will be a good team. Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah. of course, we try to to organize ourselves in such a way that that yeah, th th those teams are in a way already uh, existing. So um, yeah, These okay, are that, that's great. Stakeholders, yeah, yeah. No, I love that. Um, how many people do you have on, on your team? Yeah, around thirty-five. But thirty-five. But, okay, but they are all responsible for um, the run and the change of the. Of the service uh, touch points, so you have to think of the the website, the app, but also the uh, telephonic uh, entrances or the uh, the chatbot or the community. Um, yeah. But besides of that, I'm running a program which is called uh, Simple and Digital. Um, and, and, and within the program, we try to connect all the people from product management, but also marketeers, also people from the channels, in order to make to to, to find out what we need. To take to take it to the next level, yeah. So um, th that's that's the second part of of of, of the job. But uh, when you think in terms of organizations, it's uh, a couple of teams adding up to thirty five people, uh, good people. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Uh, are most of your people in the Netherlands, or do you have a a, a global uh, team? No, no, we uh, we are Dutch telco, so we focus on um, uh, on the Netherlands, and uh, yeah. uh, all the people are. Uh, uh, at least living in the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Um, so uh, one of the things I noticed uh, on your LinkedIn profile is how we originally met uh, was you mentioned get inspired to accelerate customer value growth. And I wanted to kind of do a deep dive on that. What, what do you mean by that? Well, I think inspiration is 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 uh, quite essential to uh, to get things started eh, for people to to believe in uh, in a story to 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 start owning it to um, uh, to feel the urge to follow it or to contribute so that that's probably the inspiration uh, part but but to my experience th there's a lot uh, to win in terms of do we have and do we offer or do we provide the people around us sufficient space to really start growing and and, and space is is uh, well it starts with the direction you want to go to it should mm -hmm. be absolutely clear what's the strategy you want to follow which yeah. uh, tactics need to be 
uh, executed, which are the milestones or deliverables that we need to uh, uh, to come up with. Uh, and if you have the space and you have the, the, the um, and, and the story is clear, then people, uh, you, you provide people, I think the, the environment to make their own decisions and to to really start contributing. And, and, and the experience is that it's not always clear so that uh, there's a lot of, of, of waste still. Right? So we are responding on, on day-to-day uh, demands mm-hmm. because we have a, a quite a clear, um, 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 well, what is it, image, uh, uh, that's, not, that's not the right word, a, 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 quite, a, a, quite a clear view on what we should do in a specific, a specific quarter. And I think if yeah. you have the room to, to really to understand it, and to to start making decisions on it, you will uh, you will yeah, get more speed than uh, than maybe yeah. nowadays every now and then. So you, know, you 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 know what your north star is. You have your your vision, your 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 goal. That's yeah, and it's customer focused. And there should be no doubt about that. So it, it yeah. should be constantly okay. Is it contributing uh, to that? And if I'm and if I'm I and if I'm I think. Uh, committing to different things, uh, then yeah. things are, are starting to get interesting because then there's <laughs> limited space. People have uh, uh, too little hours to uh, to really start delivering. And then you have really good conversation about, okay, so how can we help? What is not clear? Yeah. How do you make your decisions? Uh, so I going back to the get inspired to acceler- accelerate customer value growth, it's make sure that the direction is clear make sure everyone knows what to do and make sure that you have sufficient time to have good conversation in case it's not really happening because there there's the potential. Yeah, no, that's a good, good point. Good point. Awesome. Well, thanks for uh, explaining that. Um, and for those of you interested, you can go to LinkedIn, go to <laughs> Martin's uh, profile. We'll put it in the show notes and make sure you guys uh, can see what uh, he's posting about there. Um, you know, at Unifor, we do uh, conversational AI and automation. Uh, and one of the things that I wanted to uh, understand from your perspective is how is conversational AI changing the customer experience at KPN? Um, well, st- uh, step by step, that, that, that for sure. Uh, I think we started um, with introducing the chatbot around six years ago, and it, and it simply wasn't good enough. Eh? But we already took the first uh, mm-hmm. steps and 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 um, we felt the first advantages, uh, the financial advantages, or or uh, the, yeah. the, the, in, in terms of ease already popping up uh, every now and then, but it was not good enough. So we uh, started to to uh, upskill just step by step, gradually, baby steps, uh, mm-hmm. uh, in in terms of the chatbot, but also the voice bot. Nowadays we are, are merging that together on uh, again a new platform. Mm-hmm. But it it it's it's slowly uh, uh, getting there. But but the the dot on the horizon is I think it's uh, what it's all about because we strongly believe uh, I at least in in the power of conversational AI, and and we have been I think talking about that for ages because if if um, and I like to use the example of uh, uh, well, the website and and mm-hmm. and the salesperson. And so I I see the website as a Kind of a shopping window where uh, yeah. all good stuff is being uh, showed, but but you want to have the red color, or you want to have a bigger size, or you are interested what kind of yeah. uh, fabrics are used. So you start inside the shop the conversation, um, and within the call center we always um, try to stipulate. Okay, trying to find out what what is the real question. So it's not, it, it might not be the problem, but there might be an underlying problem. What's the root cause of the problem? And for mm-hmm. that, you, uh, the, the, uh, having a conversation is so powerful. And imagine then that you can use conversational AI. You can do it whenever you want to, during the night, uh, different touch points, uh, uh, yeah. volume is no problem anymore. Then you start understanding uh, the power. Now, well, the entrance of chat GTP, it, it's, it's, all starting to come uh, with a speed of uh, well I don't know so it's it, it this yeah. is the time that things are changing also I Very guess definitely. because because we we are further on the road and within the conversation because we can talk for hours but if you have a specific demand and I cannot really uh, fulfill that then at the end you will probably 
well, uh, say thank you and, 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 and go back to the, I don't know, living way you ever you, you go into had a nice conversation, but, but my problem hasn't been solved. So yeah, in the yeah. last couple of years, we of course have been um, uh, going, um, uh, we continue to, to make sure that we have more solution power as well. So within the conversation, we can uh, easily uh, change things. We can do you up and, 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 and cross sell. We can provide you solution which can uh, uh, reset your uh, um, your internet modem at uh, at home or give you new passwords or start uh, uh, showing your 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 invoices so mm -hmm. that combination of, of of language and and real solutions that makes us uh, them uh, uh, powerful yeah so sure. that's um, that i think that that that, that is uh, really starting to change and what we uh, added to that is that uh, it, it's I, I don't think it's, it's really that important that you're uh, we're not perfect yet by far yeah but yeah, but, no, it, no but, but it but it's also a matter of trust and if you can really position yourself as hey we're quite good uh, uh, in a digital way but yeah. but no worries if we're not good enough we will find out and we will make sure that that we're there and and, and if you can build that trust then um, and then it really starts to uh, to kick off, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's a good step forward, and uh, it, yeah, it builds trust with the customer and also the employee, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, the agents they want to have better solutions. They want to be able to do their jobs better. They don't want to, uh, you know, work on the mundane tasks. They want something that's exciting and creative, um, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you mentioned a little bit about um, generative AI, but I wanted to get your 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 take on this. You know, how do you see how do you see generative AI changing the telecom omnichannel experience? Uh, it will change for sure. Eh? So uh, over the last, uh, it, it will change. For, I, I think there are two drivers. Eh? So we'll make sure that we will be more um, proactive. Eh? We will uh, signal or detect things that 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 are causing uh, problems and we will remove them. So uh, there in a way will be uh, probably less unnecessary contact. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there are, are I think, uh, particular groups of, of customers or, or questions that will be there uh, anyway. And I think uh, that really will uh, have an impact uh, that we can uh, easily serve people in their way at in, in, whenever they want wherever they want uh, especially because i forgot to mention that uh, i think an, an, another belief of the conversational ai is that you can easily um, uh, provide it in in in, in each channel uh, so it, whether it's whatsapp or whether it's uh, the website or television platform whether it's text or voice and it's all using right. the same capability so um that will for sure have an impact i think there will um uh, be far less to, uh, uh, questions um, and, and, and hence jobs. Uh, yeah. So that, that will be an uh, interesting time. And for us, uh, also as an employer, it, 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 um, yeah, it, it leaves you with the responsibility to make sure that, that uh, all the employees see that A, it's coming, and B, that they are unbelievable important to, to stay in your company because there's a lot to do and 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 uh, yeah. you have to make sure that their career and their growth is being uh, absolutely clear and i don't know how mm -hmm. it is uh, over there at the moment but but the labor market is quite scarce over here so um there will be less jobs probably in the in, in the customer contact center but they will be replaced with 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 with, with other jobs and uh, we should really take that responsibility no that's great great point no i, I think um yeah, the jobs aren't necessarily going away. I think they're going to probably have more skills in, involved, um, and you're going to be empowered with with these tools and this data, right? And I think it's the data that's the most interesting for, especially from an employee agent experience. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. So that's, um, but not not only the agents. So we we have a nice um, a project where we translate um, uh, the speech into text and and. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the basis of the text, we have all kind of uh, insights where the uh, where the conversation is is going well, or maybe where there are um, yeah. potential to improve. And 
uh, this this uh, used to be done by coaches. Yeah. But if is everyone getting uh, these insights, which are objective uh, as well, um, it, it it will have an impact. Uh, let's yeah. see how fast it will go. But but also in in not only the the uh, the, the customer contact jobs, but all the people around it. It it will yeah, affect yeah, yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like what we talked about in the beginning is that any digital transformation is going to involve lots of different people within the company. And so these tools definitely can apply towards any, any role within the company. So absolutely. Absolutely. So let's go way back, like way back when you first started your career. Um, you know, maybe I know when I, my first job was at 16. Um, I was working, this is, I was working at NASA and which is crazy, but it, it was a small job over here as an internship. I was building databases, FileMaker Pro databases, and then for for parts uh, for these uh, flight simulators. That was my first job. And so I would take the parts and I would count them all, like little transistors, I would count them all, and then build a database. So that was my first job. Um, great, great. And it, it, it was fun. It was, it, it was a good resume builder, right? <laughs> um, but but for you, this is, we're interviewing you today, um, but you're more than welcome to ask me questions. <laughs> Um, but what was your first job uh, that you had? And it doesn't necessarily need to be technology related. It could have been something that, uh, I don't know, you, you worked at a restaurant or, or I don't know. What was your first job way back when? Yeah, I, it, it, it was. So it was a, a restaurant. Maybe I should take the, the, the second job uh, because it, it was, and it was behind a bar. So uh, it was yeah. a, a, a big cafe and uh, in my student city where I was uh, was studying. But yeah. uh, mo most of the time, really living. Uh, but it, it, and why do I mention that one? Is because it 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 also uh, back then it 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 was all about uh, making sure you had the right connection. I mean, you had to to keep your eyes open huh? because uh, there were people sitting in in the left corner or the right corner, and they wanted a drink or not. But you you needed to make contact constantly. Huh? That was also the training. Make sure that you fully in contact that you're aware of what's what, what's going uh, what's happening around you yeah but but the, the conversations and 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 uh, making sure that 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 you i think i became far less shy uh, okay <laughs> once i started working there and th i think that that, that that's awesome that, that it's it's it, it helped but yeah. it, it it yeah in essence is it that had all to do with uh, uh, connecting Connecting uh, between yeah. uh, a connection between people, and that I think that yeah. that and probably going forward, that will be absolutely crucial to to make it uh, <laughs> uh, a nice uh, no, a nice place no, it's to. A yeah, yeah, it's a crucial skill, right? Emotionally connecting with someone, whether you're in sales, whether you're in customer service, whether you're customer experience. I mean, that is the nature of like human relationships, right? And at home, I at think, home. Yeah. <laughs> And whether you're an introvert or whether you're an extrovert, it's still a skill that is needed, right? Yeah. Uh, and so um, that, that's really cool. Um, what was someone uh, that was influential early in your career? Was there anybody uh, that was maybe your mentor or maybe that kind of guided you in, 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 in what you do today? For those that are listening yeah. in, uh, Martin is, is thinking, <laughs> pondering, looking to, yeah. to, the, to the skies on this one. Um, there is someone, but uh, who could it be? Well, um, we talked about leadership uh, before. Yeah. Uh, we we talked about uh, that you should have uh, sufficient space to to uh, to de to determine amongst others whether you do the right uh, things, uh, whether they contribute, or uh, to have a discussion uh, uh, what to do and what 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 you shouldn't do anymore. Yeah. Um, and I think influential for me was, and, and I wouldn't call it a career. I always dreamt for being a, a, a soccer player, football player. Uh, I failed, but there were two <laughs> trainers, and and there was one on the one on each side. And uh, I think when I was a bit younger, there was a trainer, and he was there with the the, the best intention, of course, uh, overseeing uh, the boys, and I was one of them. But three minutes before the end of the game, he uh, he, he suddenly. Uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, notice my uh, 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 me being there. Say, yeah. Uh, I still need to put you in, in into the field. I need to to, uh, to train someone. He gave you a chance. 
He, well, he didn't give me a chance. He actually oh, no. he, he forgot me. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> okay. That I was even there. So that 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 uh, maybe that's only one side. And and opposite to that, there was a, a trainer who really uh, gave me the the confidence and and had talks about okay, how can you get the best out of yourself and. I think yeah. those two perspectives and each with the best intentions, so there's no judgment uh, at all. But I think uh -huh. that's so crucial to uh, uh, to have the feeling that you're being seen, recognized, but also being listened yeah, part to. Of, to make part sure of a team. That, and, yeah. yeah. And I think uh, because I, now I'm a coach myself and, and uh, this is what I like to do. So when things are not going well in the field, it's to, 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 uh, to, to have the conversation with... Uh, uh, girls I, mean, I have two daughters so they're hockey girls okay. and uh, so how can we improve what should we do different what should i do different and i think that 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 has become in a way influential to uh, yeah how how we want to who you want to be uh, in your career yeah. as well yeah yeah it's a good point um so what was uh one point in your career where you had to disagree with the norm you know the, whatever the standard was whatever the legacy standard was uh and disagree with that to to really innovate um love to hear yeah. your, your thoughts on that so i feel that happens a lot yeah you it, have to it, be that change agent right yeah so and I, there are some examples uh, but but to really innovate there i would uh, i wouldn't say that there, there's always a discussion um, about whether you you have to buy something on, or, or to build yourself yeah. What I've done is, is, I think it was six or seven years ago, really start um, challenging our build culture. How good are we at it? Uh, is it our, yeah. is it in the core of what who we want to be as a company? And that um, uh, I think um, was a drive for for a different discussion to 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 be far more. Uh, but we have far more constructive uh, discussions uh, altogether. So, okay, mm -hmm. this is where we uh, uh, want to keep it ourselves for this or that reason. Here, it's not in 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 the core of our uh, our company. So let's start talking. Um, so I think I've been a drive from outside in perspective as well. Um, that's one thing, and, and and we mentioned I think before is that technology or innovation. Uh, is not the only driver of uh, uh, of uh, within the field of digital transformation. Yeah. So uh, I always take the example where um, we have been a, a company that was uh, which offered twenty four seven uh, service around the clock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, whilst there's all, also a balance between uh, uh, cost on the one hand, but also quality, which you can provide to your uh, customers. And there I um, have provided the, uh, um, well, new direction that we should shorten the openings uh, window, because if you would take a look at the facts, then the quality overnight was lower. It was more yeah. expensive and it was far less ease which we uh, provided our customers. Well, so we were telling the opposite. We're 24 seven uh, open, but uh, the fact was that uh, some of the, uh, yeah, uh, what is it, underlying desk, yeah? so not the first uh, yeah. first desk, but the second desk uh, were not open during the night. So people had to, to call back uh, anyway. And, and why do I mention this? Is that uh, it, it has been one example of really start accelerating because all the people who were contact, contacting us overnight, uh, part of them just found their way uh, on the website because the information was 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 already there. We provided in such a way that it was helpful for at least a big part of that group. Uh, okay. And I think that that's also um, for me connected to creating space, uh, because by doing that we had uh, we saved cost and we could. Yeah. Invest those costs in in well in in new features for our customers. So uh, it it it's not always uh, bottom line about uh, technical innovation. Yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. you can start challenging the policies around it as well. Yeah, totally. 
All right, let's uh, thank you. Thank you for answering all of our questions so far. Uh, you know what we have left is a rapid fire, and so rapid fire uh, is a kind of a fun way to engage with you. There might be some funny questions, and but there some are more serious. At uh, but it should be like really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me on the answers. Um, and so one question that we always ask uh, for people on the podcast is, what is if you were calling into a contact center and you ha had a challenge, had an issue, some service issue, um, and you could talk to anybody that was, and that person could be a celebrity, could be an artist, a musician, someone that was could be dead or alive, you know, in the past or, or current, <laughs> who would that person be? And knowing you, knowing what we just talked about, maybe it would be a footballer, but I, I don't know. Who, who would that person be? <laughs> well, it's for sure a footballer. I would, I would say uh, our. Uh most famous and well-known uh, uh, football player who, who's uh, sadly not uh, no longer amongst us is, is Johan Cruyff uh, because mm -hmm. he could really uh, make things uh, really simple yeah <laughs> really simple and, and and as a matter of fact when i'm saying that about as a customer probably i would feel myself even dumber but uh, <laughs> I would, for sure i would have a very good feeling about uh, okay it's not that complex and it was funny after all as well yeah. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> what is uh, one thing that keeps you up at night in terms of your career? <laughs> Personal life, there's probably other things, but your career. Yeah, so um, um, I don't know the, the uh, American or the English uh, way of saying it, but... Uh, say, it, say it in your language. I say it in my language. No, I, I, I'll translate it, otherwise people... Will, no, so I like to uh, to keep on thinking about uh, how can we solve the problem in a different way. So okay. uh, um, constantly start to uh, stay creative and, and finding out the other solution. So I mentioned already the technical innovation. There sometimes there's a far easier way of 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 changing things. For instance, just by telling this is the way how we work, and yeah, take it or leave it. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> those things are. Uh, and, and whenever I have something like that, I can uh, stay awake for hours. <laughs> yeah, totally. Me too. Problem. I agree. Uh, what is one thing not on your LinkedIn profile? And then I would say uh, uh, the hockey coach, because uh, I'm, I'm absolutely not a hockey player. I, I, I really I'm absolutely crap. But uh, <laughs> what makes so you a good coach? Yeah, well, because I think in 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 essence, the the the, the game is is you can compare it with uh, football. Yeah. Um, uh, but people wouldn't expect it uh, because they know me as a football player, or a squash yeah. or what. But but hockey, no way. But it's so much fun to to uh, to be part of the team. Uh, and I started doing it a couple of years ago. So they were six, seven. In the mean, in the meanwhile, there are. 12 uh, up to 16 and uh, it's okay, fun well. to, to be accepted and to be uh, to cool. build teams with them. That's, that's uh, a great thing to do. Yeah. Awesome. We have a big hockey culture here in San Jose. We have the San Jose Sharks. Now they haven't gone to the playoffs in, in a while, but uh, there's a big community of, of youth uh, hockey leagues around here. But on ice or on the field? <laughs> on ice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 For yeah. us over here, uh, it's on the field. It's on the field. It's, it's, okay, gotcha. Field field hockey, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, field hockey. We have field hockey here in, in, in high school. It's one of the uh, one of the main sports. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely a, a big thing um, on both uh, men and 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 uh, girls. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. What's one thing that you wish you knew when you started your career? Yeah. That that. Oh, that's. Uh... <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> yeah. So many. So. Uh... Yeah, I think the, the whole digital, digital transformation is, is, is so fascinating. So, uh, um, and, the, and, and in essence, it's all about change and that, that keeps me awake uh, to really change things for, um, uh, um, yeah, for the good. Um, so, if I could turn back time and, and, and 20 years and uh, exactly. give me all the insights I have now, that, that, that would be really great. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably that. All right, all right. Uh, what's one city or country that you'd w want to spend more time in? 
I've never been to the States. Oh, well, hey, you're welcome. Yeah. You're always welcome here. All I right, know. we'll have to make it happen. Uh, yeah, I have to do <laughs> so. Uh, so I've been, uh, I think, all around the world in the previous jobs as well. But uh, the States was never one of them. So uh, um, it's not right. a city, it's not a region, but I would love to uh, cruise through the States. Okay, cool. Well, you are more than uh, invited. Uh, we'll love to have you. We'll give you the whole tour of the Silicon Valley if you're interested. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, and then uh, we ask this question sometimes, and, uh, and we ask people, what is your best day? Like, if you could finish your day and you're like, man, I nailed everything, I checked it off the list, what is that best day for you? Well, I think there probably would be... Uh, there would be two, 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 two elements. Uh, it would include two elements. It's, on the one hand, that, that could be really making the connection with one of the team member or a stakeholder to, to make sure that, that we are really aligned or that there is insight or that people reach, okay, you you you, you made my day. Eh? Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't look at it that way, but, but you helped me uh, doing that. So when there is a aspect of mentoring or coaching or uh -huh. providing support on that's on the one hand, but, but as I like to uh, set the dots uh, uh, over time and, and to point out the, the direction where we need to uh, grow into is that um, um, just a small proof point that we made another baby step into that direction and the people say, hey, listen, there is indeed value. And you made an, you or you and the team made another step that is, uh, that's making my day as well. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, Martin, uh, th thank you so much uh, for your time today. I really appreciate it. It was a pleasure. I already said that, but I uh, repeat it yeah. uh, being here. <laughs> it's great. Now I learned so much about your role, about uh, how you lead teams. Uh, and it, it's really, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to meet in person. So we will have to make that a reality. We'll have to find an excuse to meet in person. Maybe it's an event that we can go to, uh, or, or just come here and, and uh, do your do your tour of the Silicon Valley. I would be uh, honored. So awesome. uh, let, let's see whether we can make it happen. Indeed, it sounds uh, brilliant. I <laughs> loved it. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in to Conversations That Matter. Uh, as always, if you have feedback for us, uh, email podcast at unifor com or go to your favorite podcast player and. Uh, rate and review the, the podcast. Make sure to follow the podcast. That's one way of getting all of our latest interviews. We've been doing these interviews since July of 2020. So there's plenty of podcasts to binge on, as they say. Um, and if you want to learn more about what Martin uh, Franson is about, uh, make sure to connect with him on LinkedIn. Uh, and otherwise, we will uh, see you on the next episode of Conversations That Matter. And I'm Randy Starr. Have a great day, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Conversations That Matter. Subscribe to our podcast for more great content. And if you want to learn more about the topic we discussed, visit unifor.com today.